Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How long does the eviction process take in Alabama? The eviction process in Alabama begins with a notice to the tenant. The type of notice depends on the reason for eviction. For non-payment of rent, a seven-day notice is required. If the tenant does not pay the rent within seven days, the landlord can file for eviction. For lease violations, a 14-day notice is necessary. The tenant must correct the violation within 14 days to avoid eviction. If the tenant fails to comply, the landlord can proceed with filing. Once the notice period ends, the landlord can file an eviction lawsuit in court. The court will then schedule a hearing. The hearing date is typically set within 7 to 14 days after filing. At the hearing, both parties present their case. If the court rules in favor of the landlord, a writ of possession is issued. The writ allows the landlord to regain possession of the property. The writ of possession is usually issued within a few days of the court ruling. The sheriff will serve the writ to the tenant, giving them a final notice to vacate. The tenant generally has seven days to move out after receiving the writ. If the tenant does not vacate, the sheriff can forcibly remove them. Then in summary, the eviction process in Alabama can take approximately 30 to 45 days from the initial notice to the tenant's removal. This timeline can vary based on specific circumstances and court schedules. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.